Hi there, I've been waiting for ya. Hi guys. So, it all started a couple days ago when our Sammy thought that orange juice was boring. Can you believe that? So he decided to make a super duper fresh. But there is nothing interesting in a beverage that's orange. It's not about the color, but the taste, Sammy. All right, as if a plain orange taste makes it interesting. Still, it's refreshing. A bit sour, though sweet, and there is pulp. Anyway, I like the orange fresh, and I wouldn't mix it with anything. You're as boring as spinach. Whoa! I'll try adding some spinach. That'll be a smoothie, then. Uh, guys, I made the base of our machine. Please note that it's a trapezoid shape. This way the machine will settle better. Then we'll need a piece like this. There's lots of round holes in it. And two more similar pieces. They're just a bit smaller. Let's glue them. We're gonna need lots of glue. By the way, guys, be careful when working with a hot glue gun. Better ask an adult to help you. In fact, Creating something together is so much fun! <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see the result! We'll connect the pieces matching the hole's positions. So it's outrageous! Oh, Sammy, did a boogie monster attack you? <laughs> no, that was your favorite spinach. I put it into the blender and then… <laughs> Sammy, you need to close the blender before turning it on. Anyway, spinach is never a good idea. Oh, better make a Nutella fresh. If you put Nutella in a blender and forget to close it, it will attack you in the same way. It's not about the ingredients. It's all about safety. Ha, <laughs> I got it. You're against Nutella. Ugh, voila. Here's another cardboard box. That's the second part of the machine body. So I was on my way to the kitchen lab and found this. This is a huge button. <laughs> Why do you think that? Because of these holes. Why do we need a huge button in our magic machine? Uh, that's not a button. That's something more interesting. You'll see soon for yourself. Four small motors and four diodes? So I demand an explanation. Guess what? And four buttons. Quadruplication of the pieces. Shiver me chatter, Sue. Why do we have only one battery then, huh? Hey, for these four LEDs, we'll also have only one switch. How do you like that? <laughs> no, 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 no. One tiny switch and one battery can't handle all that. <sighs> Sammy, don't panic. Better pass me those wires, please. Frankly speaking, this mechanism only seems to be complicated. We'll connect all these, and the entire system will turn on at once but each pump will pour its juice separately. All you need to do is press the right button. And which is the right button? What if I press the wrong one? Uh, then you'll just pour the wrong juice. It's no biggie. Good macaroons! How do I know where the right juice is? Um, it depends on the juice you wanted to drink. So you're talking like the Cheshire Cat. So many riddles. Uh, and you're asking too many questions, like Alice. Guys. Be careful with the soldering iron. Remember, it's very hot. Yeah, better ask an adult to help you. But there's something you can do by yourselves. One simple action, subscribe to our channel. <laughs> That's easy and safe. While you were chattering, I finished here. Wanna check? Well, well, well. Interesting and complicated. Huh, heck work, you didn't solder the buttons. Aha! I was checking to see if you'd notice or not. Actually, it's supposed to be like that. We've got a slightly different order here. We'll solder the wires separately from the system. We'll secure the wires this way. One will connect to the buttons. The other one will go straight to the pump. And now let's fix this. Be very careful with the soldering iron, guys. So how do you melt metal so easily? I mean, it's very hard. <laughs> Sammy, it's a special tin lead mixture for soldering. It easily becomes liquid under the influence of the solderer. Then we dribble it here. First, we need to put the buttons in their places. Only then we'll connect them to the mechanism. We need to set the main switch into the body, too. 
Now let's hide all this inside. Craft magic! Handmade sorcery. And DIY witchcraft. Soldering! Let's turn the switch on and test the whole thing! Whoa, it works! So it's all buzzing! I like your idea about diodes. Why do we need them anyway? What an impatient slime you are, Sammy. <laughs> oh, my feta! Fresh water! We're so hot next to the soldering iron. Sammy, have you found the plastic bottles already? Yes, but you'll have to take them by yourself. Sammy? Oh, perfect bottles. I hope you didn't drink all that water. No, Sue. I'm a slime, but not a crazy one. I'm just tired. Of what? Tired of watching you work. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe you should go continue your research then? Oh, right. I'm gonna try to make a fresh with tomato juice. Ooh, tomato? Wow. Guys, be careful with the drill. Ask an adult to help you. Where there's liquid, there's silicon tubes. For this craft, we'll need them of two diameters. Through one of them, our juice will get from the bottles straight to the glass. And the second one will be connected to the motor. It has a rather narrow spout. Uh, Sammy, how's it going? I still didn't get your idea with the tomato juice. Never mind, that's just an experiment. I'll share the results later. Are you in the mood for craft magic? Oh, yeah, but first I'll conjure up something more serious. Can I? First, I'll set this bottle manually as a reference, and then you can do the magic with the rest of them. A little bit more. Carefully connect the tube with the motor. Ta-da! Okay, it's your turn now, Sammy. First comes a secret spell. bibbity bobbity subscribity. Okay, nothing still happened here. All right, that was just a warm-up. Crafty cuts! Sue, our craft reminds me of a carousel. That's right, Sammy. Then I'll name it the Fresh Carousel. <laughs> Creative, I like that name. By the way, Sammy, I've got a special task for you. Can you get some test samples of the freshes from your laboratory? We're almost ready to start the machine. But Sue, everything's already ready. I'm waiting for you to finish the craft. Okay, I'm speeding up. We'll need to twist the tubes like this. By the way, this thing won't work from top to bottom, but from bottom to top. The juice will go up the tubes to the upper section, and then it'll get straight into the glass. Cool, right? Inspector Sam is here! How's it going with the scientific development? Oh, it's very scientific and super developed. <laughs> These tubes are strange, Sue. They go up from the bottom. We'll just reach the glass. Yes, Sammy, I set very powerful pumps. Oh, Sue. We totally need to mark the buttons, not to mix them up. You're right, Sammy. And we'll make it using pastel. Have you already decided on the tastes of the juices we'll have here? Mango, cherry, apple, and tomato juice! Tomato? Sammy, tomato juice doesn't go with fruit juices very well. Cheer me, Cheddars! You don't let me experiment! <laughs> You've got a lab for your experiments. There should be no surprises in our finished craft. By the way, you shouldn't put tomato down like that. It's also a fruit. Well, actually, it's a berry, but I still don't think it goes well with our mixed freshes. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> Go on and prove it, Mr. Scientist. But can you please paint the machine lid first? Okay, this side of our machine is already beautiful. Let's Go on. Now we have two colored sides here. 
I take three. Oh, wow, great job. Guys, check this out. Give a thumbs up for our Sammy. Let's move to the third side and keep drawing our juicy tropical fruits. <laughs> Uh, Sue, I'd like to leave my special recipe on one side of this craft, too. <clears throat> Give me a pesto, please. Thanks. <laughs> Sue, I love this process. <sighs> A tiny final touch. And done. Okay, then. Now we need to fill the reservoirs, and the machine will be ready to mix. Actually, I'm going to need two more jars. I'll stop by Sam's lab. The salty tomato juice! <laughs> Sue's missing the most important part. Mix! Decorate! Oh, it's perfect! Sammy, didn't you hear me calling you? I need these jars with juice. Take them! I don't need them anyway, because I've made a super cocktail! What a taste! Um, uh, well, after you. No problem. I'm sure in my creation. Ah, uh, you know, that's interesting and unusual. <laughs> Sammy, you didn't like it. Admit it. Come on, I'll show you how the machine works. Uh, it's not that I didn't like it. It's just, oh, forget it. Here, look how cool it is. Looks impressive, Sue. Okay, let me show you. This is how you fill it with juice. Pour it carefully. Try not to spill anything. <laughs> Cardboard pieces don't like liquids. And we'll set the lid. And turn it on. The lamps in this machine are for decoration! Looks very beautiful. And now let's begin the grand mixing. All right, some mango juice. Pomegranate. And then we'll add apple juice. And some cherry. Ah, uh, you go first. That'll be fair. Okay. Ah, oh, whoa, you should taste it, Sammy. So yummy! Ah, yes, yeah, Sue, your fresh is just awesome. Thanks, Sammy. I'm so honored. <laughs> Hi, guys. Today we're going to make a Pepsi and Coke vending machine to never get confused. It was just an accident. <laughs> right. Now we need to build a rectangular frame using some cardboard. Guys, don't forget about safety when working with a glue gun. Like this. One can easily get burned, you know. Carefully. Okay. I have a really important question! It will decide the fate of our craft! Sounds very serious. There. I mean, I hope you didn't change your mind to make it at all. Of course not! I like soda so much! I thought you knew that! Get to the point, Sammy. Fine. Interesting. Sue, what do you like most? Pepsi or Coke? Hmm, I don't know really. Pepsi is kind of cool, but I think I happen to drink Coke more often, so... Yes, let it be Coke. But why? Let's share the burden! While you're making the Coke machine, I'll work on the Pepsi one! That's a really great idea, Sammy! Huh? But are you sure you can handle this? Why do you even ask? Ugh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Great Craft Master! But remember, if you have any questions… I am ready to help! We will come back to this piece later. If I understood correctly, we need a lot of cardboard for this craft, right? Oh yeah, and you'll see it for yourself during the next step. Here's our main piece for now. It looks like a template for a mysterious labyrinth. That you need to go through and find a refreshing soda. <laughs> Sue, help me lift it up! <sighs> now we need to attach some cardboard pieces according to the markings, just like this. Perfect. I can do this, Sue! 
Okay, go ahead. Great, then you're ready for making crafts without my help! Oh, I gotta go! He always gets carried away! Let's continue our work! Voila! Awesome! The competition between Coke and Pepsi is so strong that there is a special term, the Cola Wars! It's all about two pharmacists, John Stith Hemberton and Kayla Bradham, whose drinks existed simultaneously! A little lyrical digression for some craft magic! By the way, the companies still keep introducing new and modern advertising techniques, trying to beat their competitors. And true to say, it's a very interesting show to watch! <laughs> hmm, I haven't heard Sammy for a while now. Where could he be? Sammy, I'm going to make a test! I love testing! Can you please bring me some soda then? It's good! Be careful, Sammy! <laughs> Go in, my quinchy little friends! Let's start the test! Woohoo! It works! Yay! I want to try too! Huh? Awesome! So, what are we gonna. Watch where you push! Hmm. What's this? Ah, oh, I was looking for this! We need to glue this piece here to cover the mechanism. Mm-hmm. Okay, I wrote that down to make sure the Pepsi machine turns out great. Keep up, Sammy. We're almost done. All right, let's check. As you can see, the system is working pretty good. I've just figured out the decor. The main part of every craft. Do you know how to decorate your machine? <laughs> Would you look at this big cheese, huh? That's one idea. Everybody knows that, don't worry! Today we're not cooking, but crafting! Promise? Or I'll never come out of my shelter anymore! It's not a shelter, it's a lid for our craft! A lid? With those big holes? Not a good lid, I should say! Huh! Oh, Sammy, you're always in a hurry! Just wait a little bit and you'll see! We need to place a skewer inside so the door opens easily! There! Till the end! And the final touch! Great! Now we'll put it on top of the craft! I think it's better to close that round hole! Thanks, Sammy! Uh-huh! We can make a cool lever from this. It'll be more convenient, you know. Let's try then! Ha-ha! <laughs> so much fun! Why don't we use some animated film-style decorations? Whoosh! Oh, it didn't work! Sammy! Who call the greatest slime magician? <laughs> Whoosh! <gasps> wow! How did you know? The great magician can read minds! Or I'm just a very good friend! My best friend! <laughs> so, Sammy, how's it going with your Pepsi machine? Uh, um, can you help me, Sue? Sure! You're trying to make a case, as I see. But I'm a bit confused. No problem. We've made the same piece a few minutes ago. So let's speed up the process. And this piece goes here. So what's taking you so long? I've already finished my part! What are you waiting for then? Bring it here quickly. Uh, if you're wondering, it was very easy for me to make this most important part of our craft! Which means that I technically did the craft all by myself! Oh yeah? I wish I was as self-confident as you are, my friend! Anyway, if this is the case, perhaps you don't even need my help anymore, right? Huh? Don't talk such nonsense, Susie! Every great leader needs an assistant! Actually, as a great leader, I prepared everything for the next step! As a great leader, why didn't you glue these together? Or is this a job for your assistant? Wrong! Guys, if you want to see a trick, give me a thumbs up to support! Wow! 
Wow, it was a really great trick, Sammy. But you know, I didn't waste any time either. As an assistant of yours. <laughs> Don't worry, Sue. Your role as an assistant is just as important as the leader's. And the final touch. Great. It's almost all done. All we have to do are decorations. Leave it to me, Sue. Come on, close your eyes. You won't regret it. Okay. Wow, Sammy, it looks so great. I'm proud of your skills. How did it feel to make everything by yourself? Great. But it wouldn't be as fun without you, you know. Oh, you're too sweet, Sammy. <laughs> Let's have another look at our cool soda machines! Now let me show you how to fill these up. Coco's in the red one. Woo! Ah! I lost control of them! Ah! <laughs> it's okay, I caught them. And Pepsi goes in the blue one. So hard to get confused. <laughs> Sue, could you please get me a Coke can? Oh, I thought you liked Pepsi more. What can I do if I actually like both? Okay, here is your Coke. Enjoy! And I'm gonna have a Pepsi. Well, how do you like my machine? And Pepsi! It's super cool, Sammy! 